We didn't really know much about the Dasanach people. We knew they were in southern Ethiopia. But it didn't really matter. We just knew if a people group needs to hear about Jesus and they've never heard, we have to do something. I'm John Reinhardt. My wife and I have had the privilege of being gospel patrons for the Jesus film. Ethiopians have the most beautiful smiles. And I get to see those on the faces of my children every day. When God brought us here the first time, we fell in love with the people and also saw that there was a great need for children to have families. And God moved us to adopt two children who were born in Ethiopia. It was a really powerful experience of God's love and ability to bring new life out of brokenness. The Dasanach people are different from many African tribes. They are warriors, they are cattle wrestlers, they have illegal guns. They live in a strange environment, they are nomadic. These are fighting communities. Culturally, you are required to be a strong man. Even as we were showing the movie two days ago, the people didn't show that much emotion because it showed that you are weak, it shows that you have broken down, you are like a woman, so it requires you to be strong as a man if you are going to be a leader in the community. When the opportunity came along to be involved with Jesus Film and we saw the connection to Ethiopia, there was no question about that. We felt so passionate. We were one of the first planes to fly into Jinka stepped off on the tarmac and loaded up in some vans to bounce along for a few hours to get further south to where the Dasanach lived. It turned out they were gonna premiere the film twice. The first night was in a very rural setting. I mean, as rural as you can imagine. People not wearing clothes, mostly. But these people needed to know Jesus. And so our team traveled in, they set up this big screen right near their village and kids and families and individuals just came running to see what is going to happen. Most of these people had probably never seen a film in their lives, especially not in their heart language. And all of a sudden you're there in this otherworldly kind of experience walking among them. During the premiere, I was sitting on the dirt beside a little girl who kept looking over at me and smiling. I reached out, I put a hand on her arm and asked her name. Her name was Tunim. And it was incredible to be able to pray for her and have the sense that God drew her to this showing, that God has a plan for her life, that God wants her to know Him, and He wants to work through her to spread His love to other people in her village, maybe even around the world. It was an amazing privilege to be able to pray for God's purposes on Tunim's life. My son and I sat there next to some of the people. Bugs are flying around, hitting the screen. And yet people are just glued to this film about Jesus. I was overwhelmed with the experience to be able to touch the hands of people that I'd been praying for. People who live on the other side of the world from us. People who are like us, even though we look different. They're like us, they have the same needs as we do. As the film was progressing, I just kept wondering, how are people receiving this? We got to the scene of the crucifixion and one of the team members paused the film right when Jesus was hanging on the cross and invited people to stand up. And when they stood up, he shared the gospel with them and gave them an invitation to respond and raise their hands and pray to receive Jesus. At that very moment, I was holding my little son, Malachi, and he said, what's happening? And I said, Malachi, all of these people want to put their faith in Jesus. And he just says, wow, that's a lot of people. They came forward, they raised their hands. They were understanding because this was in their language. They could understand what Jesus was saying and why Jesus had died and risen again for them. So among the Dasanat people with a population of about 72,000 people, 
we we'll want to see 72 churches planted in the next three years. In fact, our desire is that every show that we'll make among the Dasanak people, we want every show to become a church plant. Here they were, the very first time many of them were hearing the gospel, they responded. They're responding to the same Savior that we love and we know and that we walk with. My children could have been born in a place where they had no access to the gospel. It makes it real. It makes it heavy on my heart that these, these children, these families, have the opportunity to know who Jesus is. Because if my kids were still out there, that's what I would want for them. I would want someone to care enough to bring the gospel to them.